it, it just hurts like hell. See, and you know what guys? I am that girl. There is a life I lead in this city. So really not interesting at all. Good morning friends, how are we? Happy Sunday. Today I thought I would just do like a nice, chill, lazy, slow Sunday in my life vlog. We've been traveling a whole bunch of the last couple of weeks. Basically I got back to South Africa in the morning of the 10th of February and that week I was home, that was a super hectic week because I was doing all my doctor's appointments, I got the Botox situation, I was running around like a crazy person just doing all the last minute planning for my birthday party as well which happened on the 18th that saturday and then the following monday i was up super early with my best friend megan we drove down to underberg i spent the week in underberg with my parents helping them out just like seeing to the farm they're trying to sell it so i literally was showing the house to people it was so funny but like i lived my best hgtv dreams in those few days i've got to say i just i loved it and i really love the farm so it was nice to be able to share it with somebody who was interested enough and who seemed to also love it as well the lady actually came back twice so i'm like oh Hopefully that's a good sign. I don't know, like I'm very excited for my parents to move to Howick soon, which is just so much closer to their doctors and stuff. And that house has been ready. I'm very excited to see what they've done to it in terms of renovation and stuff. And then we spent the weekend in Durban with my sister and my niece and going shopping with my other niece. And then the following week, this, the whole of the last week we spent at Keegan's mom's house with his mom and his sister, just like hanging out there a bit. So now we're finally back home, we got back on Friday afternoon, yesterday we took it quite easy. We just took my car for a car wash because that's the car we've been driving around up and down. And today we are just chilling, taking it easy. I need to make a list of things that I need to get done this week because it is now already my last week in Joburg. Well, starting tomorrow, obviously. I leave Sunday evening next week. I've literally got seven days left. So my wonderful period decided to join the party this morning and sh it, it just hurts like hell. So we're gonna do a quick trip to Diskim because there's a couple of toiletries I wanna pick up and I don't have any painkillers with me. So I need to go and get those as well. But I just wanted to say, hey, hi, hello. I made myself a lovely iced coffee this morning with a pumpkin spice uh, creamer and it is delicious. Also, how amazing are these glass straws? I got them from Mr. Price in Pina Maritzburg, I think. And they're only like 60 bucks for four of them and they come with a little brush to clean them. I've already got metal straws, but I think that these just, they look even better. They just make my coffee look so much more attractive. I don't know why, but anyway, this is the outfit. I've got my cute little crop on, but with my gray jersey fabric skirt and of course the crocs because comfort over everything right good morning sir keegan's just getting ready and then we're gonna go hopefully this is a somewhat enjoyable little sunday vlog i'm gonna try not to complain too much about my cramps <laughs> i'm gonna try So yesterday didn't end up being a super like reset type of Sunday. It was just a lazy Sunday. We ended up going to Keegan's brother's house and hung out with them and started talking like wedding plans and stuff like that. Uh, so we were there for a few hours and yeah, we just came home and watched some TV and that was it. So really not interesting at all. Eileen gave me 
a birthday gift and it was so pretty I want to show you guys it's this tree of life silver necklace which I love it's so pretty if you look closely you can see it's got some blue stones in the tree that should really bring out the blue in my eyes and then I also got well they gave this to Keegan but I decided to take it because I need a speaker for when I'm in Sudan this little Bluetooth speaker we do have one but it's just too large it's just a bit too large and in charge for my baggage so I thought I would take this tiny little one so cute and yesterday Keegan got me flowers and it was a huge bunch so I've actually got the full big bouquet in the lounge and then I also had a couple extra in this little jar to keep in the room they're kind of struggling though but it's okay they're still really really pretty For no real reason, I've decided to wear my jumpsuit today. I haven't worn this probably in like over a year and I want to declutter my clothes and everything but I want to see if there's still some pieces that I really like wearing that I just haven't gotten an opportunity to wear. So I threw this baby on again and it's like super comfortable. Like this fabric is so nice and soft, it's very comfortable. I think I already have this jumpsuit listed in my yaga but I'm thinking of keeping it now Although my mind might change as soon as I need to pee. So yeah, we'll see. We'll we'll just see how the day goes. keep forgetting how hot it is here because it is summer it is very much still summer here in South Africa well technically because it's March it's now autumn but I keep forgetting and I keep starting to make a hot coffee and then I realize I will not be able to drink that because I am boiling hot so then I just threw in some ice and made myself a nice cold coffee threw in some of that pumpkin spice creamer and oh it's the best it's the best now now I understand I understand the whole obsession honestly I do here in South Africa we don't ever get like cozy wintery type of things flavored things at Starbucks when it's our winter and our winter is in like June July and our Starbucks will be selling watermelon lemonade stuff <laughs> and it's like no I want my pumpkin spice latte at that time so I'm really happy that I've got another bottle of this creamer and I've still got a pumpkin spice coffee syrup so that I can use that when it is actually winter here and I want to be cozy and I want to have like a pumpkin spice something you know not that that had anything to do with anything but anyway Keegan has taken Benji to the groomers I've just been making a list of things that I need to do because I am in my last week here and I just need to like start writing down everything I need to get done before hopefully before Friday but it's so nice Keegan has been on leave since like last week Friday or something since we've been in Durban and he's on leave up until this week Friday so I've still got the whole week to spend with him it's really really nice mm. Which reminds me, when we were in Durban, we got this fabric, like a shwe shwe fabric. And we need to take it to somebody who can make us like outfits for my like Lobola Day brunch thing. So that we have matching outfits. I, I didn't realize before this how many like matching outfits we're gonna have to get made. But we're gonna have to and it's gonna start with the Lobola Day. I think it's a really, really pretty fabric. I'm very excited got this beautiful fabric it's like a blue and white print it's really pretty and it's not like too in your face which is exactly what I wanted I wanted something that was a little bit muted but still very African and yeah hopefully the dress I have in mind comes out looking really pretty in this fabric is 
gonna go off at 12 and it's currently 11 12 so I've got about 40 something minutes um, to just get a bunch of things done I just took out the trash I just finished doing the laundry and hanging up the clothes and I also want to make a smoothie yeah I want to make a smoothies because we've got a bunch of frozen fruit in the freezer that we just haven't used so I would like to make a smoothie while I have power and then I've also what else have I done I also just finished filming my proposal video which was it's so fun every time I have to tell the story it's so much fun like it's I don't know I just get all the feels all over again I also realized I was looking back at the clips that I just keep showing my engagement ring at like every opportunity and you know what guys I am that girl I'm going to shamelessly be entering every single room like this I'll just hello good morning is it time for me to do my safety demonstration? Okay, well these are your primary exits, these. Sorry, you've got, you've got something on your lap right there. You've got something on your lap. Guys, look at my hair. Have you seen my hair lately? Have you? I just wanna show you this picture on my phone. Like, do you see? Look at this cool picture on my phone. Oh, you're trying to get to the store? It's that way, that way, over there. Over there. <laughs> Shamelessly. I am obsessed with my ring. Okay, I am going to show this off as much as I possibly can. <laughs> Shameless. Do you want to taste this yogurt? The other day we went and got some, what is it, vegan strawberry yogurt that we've never tried before. It's made with cultured almond with, do you think they meant to say grapeseed? That's rapeseed, that thing. What on earth is rapeseed? Rapeseed? Are you kidding me? Is that a thing? Okay. Shake. Ha. Huh. We'll make some uh, chicken mayo sandwiches. It smells good. It's very lumpy and clumpy though. That tastes like real, normal yogurt. He's so weird that he runs outside every time you give him a treat. Taste. Not bad. Mm. Right? Mm. What? Do you not like it? Come to me now. There's like a weird aftertaste, yes, but it's still tasty. Alright. Not bad. What is this concoction? It's blueberries, banana, and chocolate protein powder. We just went to go and get our Lobola outfits made. So we were looking for like a tailor and dropping off the fabric for that. And then on our way back, we stopped at this one super spa where you can get fresh cream donuts <laughs> because Keegan's obsessed. I've already eaten mine because I was peckish. So I ate it on the way, but I also decided to pick up one of these little cheesecake mixes because I have a carrot cake mix as well. And I'm gonna make that layered carrot cake cheesecake thing that you get from Woolworths when I'm back in Sudan. I also picked up this pack of mincemeat because it's like four individually wrapped sections so that will be nice and I got this mutton meat just so that I can make myself a mutton curry when I'm in Sudan and then and then lastly I also picked up some vors because whenever we have a bride that's like the one thing that I always wish for is vors. I have put pajamas on now because I needed to go pee and it was just way too much effort to put that jumpsuit back on. I want to quickly just mm, kind of figure out my makeup situation because as, as much as I like to think I don't have a lot of makeup, I actually do. I realize this because all of this is makeup, all of it. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. 